hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mwah, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it so in today's video i'm going to be picking my drum <laughs> may tbr oh my god i'm so excited i'm super excited okay so i'm not going to lie i didn't finish reading most of the books i picked last month so if the prompt prompts i might actually pick it again and i have some new books in front of me that I, i'm about to film it uh, uh, book all so if the prompts prompts again i might actually pick one of them so oh my god i'm excited i have money here okay like we will do normally i'm going to be picking one of those ones that my brother and i uh wrapped one of these ones here yes so this one's actually number six okay it actually feels very small and slim so i'm actually curious i wonder what book it is okay so you guys are going to look at it first <laughs> i feel like oh my god yay the seven husbands of evelyn hugo the number of hype i've had about this book oh my god it's been a whole ride and i'm excited to actually pick it up so it's one of um taylor jackins read favorite uh one of many people's favorite books by taylor jackins read honestly i really really i'm excited this is one of the books i picked that i was going to read in uh this year 2024 so i'm getting into it finally oh my god ah i'm excited she's one of my favorite authors also so yeah that's a win-win yes yes okay so let's pick our regular prompt it says a present oh my god i'm excited because um i have quite a lot of books that were gifted to me this year honestly this year has been a blessing and i'm so excited but i don't know which one of them to actually pick <sighs> am i ready for a big book or just a, a light book okay so guys i have wretched here and i also have say you swear by megan brandy i've heard quite a lot about the two of them this is a dark romance retelling but i don't know which particular story this one follows but this one people say it's quite emotional uh, well i'm not sure because a lot of people say it was emotional for them but some people say it was just very sweet so i'm not really sure and they were both presents this one was give, gifted to me by promise and this one was by patience so uh, i'm thinking i should go with this because the scarred i i'm not sure if i'll be able to get to it this month april but i should be able to get to it before the end of the month so let's let's go with um uh, confusion uh, wretched says where they say first love first loves last forever i hope they are wrong oh my god Maybe I should go with Say You Swear because why not? So that's two books down already. Let's go with another prompt. A yellow book. Oh my god, I remember when I was writing this particular prompt, I had yellow face <laughs> to read. Now I've read yellow face already. So a yellow book. Oh Jesus Christ. I didn't realize that I had a lot of yellow books, guys. A lot of yellow books. I'm surprised and I'm impressed. So I have Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zauna. This one. I bought it because I think I had somewhere that uh, this was one of Obama's favorite books. So I was like, okay, let me see what it's about. But I think it talks about like suffering and stuff. Uh, it will have you in tears that's what some, someone says so it's like a sad book then I also have this one The God of Good Looks <laughs> by Brian McIver honestly uh, I got this because of the cover honestly look at the cover guys let's, let's give it up for the cover it's really really big though then I have this one Mad Honey when I went to Lagos uh, last year I bought this at the bookstore it was Hi me i read the synopsis then but now i can't even remember whatever it's talking about so i have this three here 
And I said, I think I will take this one, Crying H Mart, because I want to cry. And it's also small. So, yes, let's go with that. Now, let's pick one more. Oh, I picked like a lot. Let's go with this one. A book in a series. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick. As good as dead i don't even need to think twice about this particular book because uh i'm body reading this with my friend tosin and we've read good girl's guide to mother we've read um good girl bad blood so this is the third one and i've also read the novella killjoy so this is the last book in the series so i think it would be fair if i pick this and finally finish the series and i heard that there's a movie already I, I'm not sure I'll watch the movie though because I'm not really a movie person, but I'm an animation person, you know <laughs> I don't know how many more to go though, but let's pick one more I think I would like to pick six books A book that ends in an odd number of pages Please end in an odd number of pages, please, please This is the last, oh, this is another book entirely Oh man, so I have uh, mechanics of Yenagua. I've been wanting to read this book. My friend says it's a very light read and looking at the fact that I already picked Crying in H Mart, I think this would be a nice addition to my, you know, TBR because when I finish crying, I can pick this one to make me laugh, you know. So it ends on page 303. So that's odd. Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. I think one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh my god. My memory card is full already. Yikes. A book with a pretty cover. Oh, pretty cover. I have a lot of this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me it's not pretty. <laughs> Tell me it's not pretty. Okay, the god of good looks. That's all. That's all, basically. Good looks, and it looks good, and it's pretty. It's a very pretty cover. I like it. Hmm. Uh, I don't I can't really tell you guys what this is about because I don't know and I prefer not to read through the synopsis because I feel like I like going into books blind they help me enjoy it better and also try to figure it out along the way yes so that's six books let's pick one more book to add to my TBR prompt oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm excited <laughs> I'm actually low-key feeling like I should pick one of the books that I wrapped. Let me just do that. Let me do that because it will help me get through to it faster. Oh my god. Yeah, I I saw that one. I saw it. <laughs> okay, this is one. I'm not going to look at it. Wait, let me do this again. <laughs> okay, let me do this again. How will I know what color I'm picking? Okay, this is one. Uh, no. This is one color. Okay, fine. This is oh my god my, uh -huh. okay this is one color here <laughs> okay number number five i low-key think i know what this book is it's probably the night circus probably but let's check it together Life of Adila Rue by V. E. Schwab. Oh, oh my god, I thought it was the nice circus because of the size. It's actually the same size with the nice circus. But am I ready for this? I, I think I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm finally happy. Oh my god. So you guys already know what this book is about, yeah? They say it's about a girl that um she made a deal with the devil or something, and anybody she meets forgets her. Like in the next one minute if she just turns her back the person does not even remember her and she has lived for three thousand uh, three hundred years until she met one particular guy that remembers her and she was shocked and she's like you remember me and that kind of thing so uh there's this particular saying that i've been seeing on tiktok um she has lived a thousand lives mm, something like that yeah yeah so so 
that's all you guys that's all thank you so much for joining me to pick all these amazing books i'm really excited and i'll see you guys in my next video tell me which ones you have on your tbr for me and also tell me the ones that you've read and tell me the ones that you feel i should get to asap asap i know seven days in mm. <laughs> the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo would probably turn up a lot because a lot of people actually like it. But yeah, this is my TV. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.